Okay, moving to Illustrator. We open up Illustrator and I'm going to come to File Open and I'm gonna find the JPEG images that I just created inside of um, Photoshop and I'm gonna open them up. So I come, I saved both of them on my desktop and the first one I named Leaves. Well, the second one I named Leaves, <clears throat> I'm gonna click, I'll start with this one. Uh, I'm gonna go to Open and there it is. Okay, now again, the size doesn't really matter so much. I grab on, I have this image, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on in and I am going to do trace as a black and white logo. Okay, there we have it. What I've done very, very quickly is I have turned it into a vector. Okay, so now we come on in, we can make it larger. We wanna hold on to shift and pull from the corner. We can move it around. Now, once we have done the tracing, the next thing that we wanna do is hit expand. Okay, and I guess I must have hit expand. So I'm gonna come on down, I'm gonna grab my white arrow. And what I can see, I'm actually gonna put a color behind here just so you can see. So I can come on in. I'm gonna change that color. Okay, I'll come to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. So we can see that there's all this white around it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab onto my white arrow and I'm gonna click onto that white and I'm gonna hit Delete. So now we can see we just have this image. Now to change the color, I want my white arrow. My white arrow is gonna select a direct select. I will select one object. I'm gonna click onto that leaf. Now I wanna change all of these whites at the same time. So I'll come on in, I'll say select same fill color, and I can come on in, I can change this color. So I'm gonna come on in, grab a nice light green. There we have it, okay. So let's come on in now and let's change the color of the stem. So I'm gonna click on to the stem and I can make it a purple color, right? Um, I can even open this up and come on in. Let's see here, decisions, decisions. So you can see that the possibilities really are endless. Okay, so I can click delete, oopsie. I'm gonna keep that color in. It's interesting how color looks different when there's a different color around. Let's change this color one more time. I'm gonna to come to select same fill color and I'm gonna add a color here. Let's see, I want something that's a little bit more intense Again, it's always interesting to see how color looks different when there's other colors behind it. Now, as I take a look at this too, I can click and I can see that what Illustrator has done is it's created all of these points. Now, I can also work with this a little bit and kind of clean up all of these anchor points. Some of these edges, I like the way they look, some not so much. So, And we can have different variations of this. So I'm going to click, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to go edit copy, edit, paste in front, and I'm gonna do another version of this. So I'm gonna come on in here, we'll take this, we'll move this one over. Let's click onto this guy. Let's do a couple versions here. Okay, let's come on in here and let's come to object and let's take a look at um, path and let's come to simplify, okay? Now when we come to here, what it's telling you, we wanna do a preview, okay? It's simplifying it. So it's saying that your original has 884 points and they are changing it so it only has 113 points. But I don't like that so much. So I'm going to uh, up the angle threshold and we'll see when we do that, the image will change a little bit. And let's up the curve precision. Okay, I like that. That one I like. Let me go up a little bit more. Perfect. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And what's happened here is it's gone from 884 points to 149 points. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm going to click and there we have it. I have another version of this image. Okay, let's do something else. Again, the possibilities are endless. Let's come to edit, copy, edit, paste in front. Let's click on over. Let's make this whole thing one color. So I can click on, grab my white arrow, I'm gonna select this, th these parts in here, and I'll come, I'll say select same fill color. 
And now I'm going to, oopsie, okay. What happened was, see what, it selected all of them. All right, so I don't wanna do that. So what I could do is I could double click, go into isolation mode just with this image. If I just wanna do this image, I double click to get into isolation mode. I'm going to select this. I'm gonna say select, same, fill color. And then I'm gonna change it to the color of the background. So I'll say, and I'll so just grab my eyedropper and I'll select that color, voila. Now they're all the same color. Okay, great. Now I could take this image right in here and I could merge it. So I'll go to my Pathfinder, Window, Pathfinder. There's Pathfinder. All right, so here we go. We can hover and we can say Unite. All right, there we have it. All right, so this whole image, oh, is all together. Now it's not all the way together. So if that's the case too, I could come on in, select it, and I could work with my blob brush. So I come on in, I come to my blob brush. I'm gonna zoom it on in, grab my hand here. Again, I'm gonna select. I'm gonna get my blob brush. and just make sure everything is connected. So sometimes it's these images that are right in between. I go a little bit smaller. If I want it to be a little bit smaller, I use the parentheses um, on my keyboard. That actually makes it smaller. And again, sometimes we really wanna just zoom it on in. And we can see that we can get a lot of info when we zoom it on in. Okay, all right. All right, again, you know, you could go through and do all of that and very easily, one more time, click all of this and I would merge it one more time. Unite. And then we can see that it is moving together now. Again, you can work more with the blob brush. I'm gonna change the color Overall, not so wild about that color. Okay, there we go. Possibilities are endless to get out of isolation mode. I'm gonna hit escape. So we can see very easily uh, with that simple little sketch, we have three versions, three different colors um, that we can work with. And we can use these images and pattern them um, and do a lot of really cool things. In the next video, I'm gonna take a look at how we could take the aloe plant sketch that we created and turn it into a vector as well. Thanks so much.